Welcome, my friend. Welcome to a new episode of Here's the S- Scenario. I almost said Here's the Sopranos. Uh, here's <laughs> no, the that's scenario. the next episode that we're filming. <laughs> yeah, I'm one of your hosts, uh, Michael Shane Cannon. With me, as always, Brendan Saglow, as well as Mike Feeney, fresh from LA, and you wouldn't know it from the hue of your skin. I feel yeah. like I got some color. You got a little bit of. Color. You look like yeah. you're wearing. I got I got good color because I wore I wore sunscreen this time, so I didn't. Instead of getting burned, I said I put. 30 on and it turns out you can actually just get a nice little You do base. have like a shine to you. From- yeah, I was I was in the steam room and then I was in the sun. Oh, so I just thought you were like nervous like an impending judgment was coming down on you. Oh, no, man. no. We wanted it when we I'm were relaxed. at Mohegan Sun, we wanted to go into the steam room and I asked the lady, I was like, is there an open steam room? And she was like, no. There's a lot of things we wanted to do. We wanted to kill ourselves, namely, but uh, mm-hmm. mostly mm-hmm. we just kept on living. That's not what this show is. This is a <laughs> hypothetical-based podcast. We do what-if scenarios, would-you-rathers, F, Mary kills on occasion, much to the chagrin of one of our listeners, <laughs> and uh, all those fun things that you, the audience, help submit. We got a Patreon, which those people get the uh, the preferential treatment in terms of which questions we get to first. Patreon.com slash scenario pod. We do a bonus episode every single week, which is more storytelling, similar to Irish Goodbye podcast, RIP, and uh, we we have a ton of additional content on there. We just, uh, I just went to Alaska with Nicole. We had a, a series of three podcasts where you can really track the trajectory of my downfall uh, <laughs> over the course of that trip. And uh, not to mention vlogs galore. We have uh, the Calta Cruz episode one about to drop. It, just constant series are about to come out on this thing. We are. And thanks a, everybody you know, who's who, if they're not on the Patreon, who's subscribed to our YouTube channel because we already got over a few thousand subscribers, which is very nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, keep subscribing to that if you don't have the money to support the Patreon. And also, you get to see new things. You know what I mean? Brendan's wearing linen pants. Mike's a glasses guy now. Yeah. Everybody, I have a nice sheen from yeah. LA. Everybody, <laughs> everybody has something sheen. to bring. Charlie. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Brendan really <laughs> looks like he's headed to a beach wedding in his only stainless white tee. <laughs> And I don't want that to go away. You saying you do have a sheen, Charlie. <laughs> it's like a fun, can we put that on a t-shirt? That's awesome. Thanks. I've never felt better in my entire life. Yeah. But yeah, I do have glasses. And you know what? Instead of going to Nicole for the reminder, I remembered. I'm gonna give a nice shout out to my to my good pal Virginia Buzakis. She is uh she she works for an optical company and she knows how to size people's faces for glasses. She actually does Sam Rubinoff's. Really? Uh yeah, she's gonna be the glasses. <laughs> to the comedians if anybody's interested and I'm going to give her Instagram a shout so if you guys are ever looking for uh, for glasses and you live now I know why he's got the glasses on it's all a built in plug mm. it has to be or Boozakis yeah, yeah, yeah Virginia Boobcockus that's what we <laughs> called her in, uh, in high school Boobcockus uh, it's underscore V underscore underscore Bo B-O underscore it's I mean you gotta do something easier than that Virginia but uh, yeah go to that I will tag her on my uh, th- on my stories and all that stuff but she uh, she hooked it up and she yeah. will do the same for you that was a longer plug for her glasses it's crazy than long. our Patreon. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Much longer. That's right. These are a thousand. She charged me $998. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Old boob cock piss. <laughs> yeah. Boob cock piss. <laughs> Damn it. We should have went with that. I like that one better. A little bit tougher. Um, all right. Let's get to the questions Hit instead me. of uh, just friendly plugs. <laughs> so that's not it. Did that start? What? Did that start? Did you start? No. <laughs> How long have we been going? Man, I have. I am Five over a million tops. on that, huh? Yes, in less than five minutes. All right, that's good. So from our Patreon, here's the first question. The underscore resistant one. Would you rather have another reunion episode on Rabbit Hole with fan favorite Feeney that uh, that lasts two hours long or be the headliner at a packed auditorium where Brendan the Sneaky Raccoon Man of Intense Laziness Bear Clown Ice King Sagalo wow. is supposed Intense to bring laziness. you up but blows the light by 40 minutes and therefore giving one of you only five minutes to work the crowd. 
So I like how both of these are based on true events. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was the thing? It, well, did can you, you, by the way, whole intense away? laziness. No yeah, one, that, no that, one's that lazy really, that can do forty minutes that, past the past the that's not true. Yeah, that's not true at all. But I, I, I do. I, <laughs> you know, comedy shows. So. He, he, he got very triggered by the intense yeah. laziness because he even said it while you were reading the whole thing. He went intense laziness. <laughs> he was so angry it's about that. Fucking mind blowing that these uh, people this narrative say this shit about me this when I'm working narrative. hard for Christ's sake, you and all you're doing <laughs> is sitting and insulting me on a Patreon. Don't you say anything because yeah. I am working don't, hard. Don't don't you ask him to look in the mirror like this <laughs> too early. You know, sometimes I think I'm working hard and then it turns out I've been in my head battling for six months and no, I've done nothing. That's working hard to me. <laughs> working yeah. hard to not You're beating your demons. Put my mouth around a, a, a car exhaust. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm All beating right. I'm beating my demons. <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> yeah. I would say this and maybe play it later on at your funeral. I don't <laughs> see a fucking shot in hell that you could ever do that. I don't do think- what? You don't have the you don't have You're not that, the ball. You don't have the suicide type <laughs> to kill myself? Yeah, a hundred percent. No, you don't you, you don't have that at all. You want to see how people react too badly. Like it's, you wouldn't you yeah. wouldn't finally you wouldn't You'd no, be the guy who yeah. who tried to kill himself but survived. Yeah. And just to be like or accidentally, you'd be like Michael yes. Scott. You'd put a bouncy house. Or in the uh, in Hot Tub Time Machine. Yeah, yeah. you're inside the car playing piano, and then you didn't yeah, realize yeah, that yeah. the door was closed, and you passed. Yeah, out. I can't. The whole forever thing is too much. I need to see how this plays out. <laughs> 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 yeah, I need to see how the the saga low plays out. That's right. Yeah, yeah. that's right. That's right. <laughs> um, but you know, I've already done both of those things, so I don't know what I would rather. The auditorium, do. at least, the auditorium. away with some money on that. Uh, oh. I will say, one of the more frustrating experiences of my life was that Long Island show. So yeah. I don't uh, comedically, also not you know. Overall, I've had worse things happen to me, but yeah, yeah that uh, you know, that was interesting. Headline was, from if the anyone is not familiar with that, Mike and uh, Brennan did a road gig in Long Island where Mike was headlining. I was not I, only headlining; we actually just spoke about this. I was filming a special, so I was. Gonna, <laughs> oh, it, it was right. it was November 2020, and I was going to put out one of those half cooked asshole content flood these streets bullshit specials and uh <laughs> that I'm about to put out next month <laughs> and uh yeah, and I did yeah, the, yeah I was like easy, easy. <laughs> this fuck some of us random. recorded on rooftops here let's, let's. <laughs> yeah I tried to do that and I failed <laughs> instead I took it to Long Island in a illegal speakeasy and not only did Brendan do six hours from the middle position leaving me with <laughs> crumbs of the audience but uh i yeah. was then flashed <laughs> with a crumbs. fucking yeah so- i was flashed with a light during my build closer yeah. to get off stage immediately and i wasn't even allowed to acknowledge little what happened you, little do you know you should be thanking me for light for going over i'm grateful there. that i didn't release anything from that <laughs> i'm very grateful because that was one of those intense anxiety things where it's like where is this going i don't know what's happening i need to continue moving forward yeah let me put out the material i've thought of in my father-in-law's living room yeah <laughs> but the what a Rabbit strange time could be it would be good you had to see were you on the reunion uh no you weren't no i don't think so but we did that i think we did that a year or two after the one at stand up new york that didn't Work, like get no, recorded. that was Mike and Tim's final episode, which oh. I also told Nicole about because it was such a hilarious stand-up New York moment where like people were driving in from like Maine and have what you know the Midwest, like really excited to come see us. And it's the end of a chapter. We did deep inside the rabbit hole for so long. Mike and Tim was the offshoot of that, and then that was closing, and we were actually giving people an opportunity for closure. Yeah. And these people, you know, it's not like they were. I'm not trying to say it sound like we had huge fan. I'm just saying like the people that liked our show were uh, were a special breed of people that yeah, yeah, very yeah. much connected and uh, relied on it. <laughs> Let's put it that way. And uh, yeah, of course, the audio didn't work. We lost the last episode forever, and uh, it was just a fruitless endeavor. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun. That, but yeah, that would be fun though, because at least you get to be, like I saying, you get to be with Tim. It'd be fun. Yeah. I'll, I'll be there not saying a word because I got too high That's in right. the beginning. Yeah. Well, I was thinking back to that because I was I I had watched like one of the edited trailers of uh when Shane, Ari, and Mark do Rogan and Shane put down like 15 beers. And I was like, damn, that's pretty good. And I was trying to think, I was like, 
I used to put down 12 in an hour on deep inside the yeah. rabbit hole. Like, yeah, and that's not bragging. That is me running from the ghosts of my ancestors oh, yeah. and just pouring fucking booze down my face while I'm listening to how kids bodies can't stack in a closet. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I think I could like <laughs> dunk myself in a 30 rack. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be awesome. Suck yourself out. Yeah. Um, I would like to do a reunion episode of deep inside the rabbit hole though. Eventually, I feel like we have a lot. Uh, we have a lot to discuss. I feel like that, the that third Mike dude is like the Riddler now. Dave, <laughs> he actually. I, I will say this, and I don't talk to him a lot, but he did text me for my birthday and said, "Happy birthday!" In, Even birthdays don't exist, by the way. <laughs> yeah, he's like, uh, "It died in 9 11. <laughs> 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 Your birthday, died in the happy birthday, or as the lizard people call it, time to something or other. Uh, you I know. wish you had an end of that. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that's just a product of intense laziness, you, <laughs> you cunt. That's I mean, exactly what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you saying it with a sarcastic twinge doesn't make it any less true. <laughs> and you're, twinge, dude. You have a very specific face of this guy that you're picturing because I'm looking at you, mean mug in the camera, and there is intent and malice behind your eyes. Do you, yeah. Let me ask you this because I feel like I could see him too. He has a beard, right? Now, <laughs> <laughs> no. I see. I see every time I, I see him bald sure. for some reason. Yeah, bald with a beard. Wearing plaid, bald on purpose, all or the way bald up. with wisps of dead dandelion. Uh, bald, but you can kind of see like the five o'clock. Right. So not well, not well manicured, but bald. Yeah. 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 Okay. I, I, yeah. I don't know. Kind of put together a little clean. Yeah. Little clean, but nice button up, ironed. Just a guy who thinks he's fucking better than me. Yeah. Do you know what's <laughs> weird? And my problem is, is that every time like I think, you know, like somebody calls me whatever on the internet or says I'm not funny or whatever. My instinct is to picture them as like Christian Slater in a full suit, smoking a cigarette, driving a Ferrari. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, and they're like, like they're no. just so cool. They have life figured out, man. They they have me pegged. And no way, like, dude. It's not who comments. Fucking schmo that works at a Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I'll, I'll go to their profile. Yeah. A little intel. Yeah. Usually makes me feel better. If I can, if I can hurt them in some way, I will. Like, yeah. If, uh, like, there's, there's a guy that's constantly, um, shitting on me on podcasts and stuff, and I'll go to his videos and I'll just dislike some of his videos. Oh, so not even like a, like, he won't even. I'll give him, I'm giving him a view. I report. (laughs) I try to put strikes on people's. Yeah, I'll report for like abuse. (laughs) (laughs) I'm kidding. None of the people that say anything have any content to even downvote. Yeah. It's always just some guy that created it just to say, I suck. And it's kind of that's nice. Oh, that yeah. means I've inspired you to a point that you had to create something to tell me how I made you feel. Yeah, if you ever yeah. get a negative tweet and you go to their <laughs> timeline and look yeah. at their replies, it's like every single one is negative about someone. Or yeah, something. and none You're of like, them are oh. liked or anything. All right, let's get off this. I hate talking about this. Mike Feeney's chest rod. <laughs> you get to kick someone as hard as you can in the balls or snatch. Um, does that hurt? Yeah. It does. I think so, yeah. Okay. And we're not we're talking like yeah. flat laces against clam. I'm not talking like toe toe point, you know? Why not? Well, whatever. Like yeah. however okay. you kick. All right, however you kick. Uh doesn't matter you just have more accuracy when it's with laces. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter who it is from, anywhere or any time. But you never get to remember it and it ages you by ten years. But you have a feeling something amazing happened forever. Do you do it? And who is your target? <laughs> well, I'm wait. Gonna, what? I, I so you basically he correctly is summing us up at psychos that want that like are just clinging on to to not hurting people violently every day. Mm-hmm. So he's like, you can do it. You can kick somebody in the cunt uh-huh. or in the penis, and they it ages you ten years. So you get one shot, and you don't even remember it. Oh. Uh. No. It's like, I don't even know. I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Especially if you can't remember it. The boring The 10 years. Is, doing it no, and you no. can't remember it. Forget the t- aging 10 years. I wouldn't do it. If right. I'm not going to get the satisfaction of remembering it, then it's not even worth doing to begin I, with. Yeah. yeah. Just the faint feeling. Even if I have full. Happened, that's my entire memory log. If I have a yeah. full <laughs> memory of every second of it happening and what the temperature was outside when I did it and I still am aged 10 years and I still wouldn't do it. Yeah. It's not worth it. I have two answers. Violence is never the answer. It is. I have two answers. Often. Answer one, violence is never the answer and I don't want to do this. 
Second answer is if anyone I see, the first person, the I first see. person. Yeah, if it's like if it's like you have full uh, amenity to kick somebody in the ball, I'm going right down there, yeah. and just bang, and I'm coming well, back up. That's the thing is like <laughs> I'm not a first degree murderer. Like I don't think things out. I don't. I don't plan. There's nobody I want to take out. Like in my head, I can't even. I can't even really think of one right now. Actually, I just did. But <laughs> like anybody that wrongs me in the moment. Then you're you're an act of passion, guy. They and but they also absorb all of my anger towards everything else. Yeah. So it's like they're the ball from Space Jam. Yeah, you're like <laughs> Dragon Ball Z or something. You're like yeah. I'm sub zero. You could Tommy. see the atmosphere coming between <laughs> yeah. my hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that is uh so I it's that it's whoever fucks with me yeah in a menial way yeah if if somebody even like if i approach somebody with some nice attitude like hi friendly and they give me fucking horrible worker energy i'm going behind the counter and i'm going get up against that wall <laughs> <laughs> what i'm taking my license out i go i have one yeah i will be able to remember it and i'm it's going to age me and you'll probably see that and it's going to scar you but i'm kicking you right in the balls yeah it's just tough because you also don't know like at least when you age in ten years, it's gra it gradually happens, and you yeah. kind of get used to your face and your hair and whatever yeah. changes. But if it happens, you puke in the blink of an eye. <laughs> yeah, it, there's there's almost no amount of physical violence that could justify that. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Maybe if I could like <laughs> dismember a stadium of people as slowly as I want, and that could be like a year's activity, then sure, then I'll take ten years off my life. No way, dude. That smell after like barely getting through the. But first they're being one. cleaned out as I'm killing. <laughs> of a full staff. I don't know, man. I feel like just the inside of a body. Like the second you stab someone, there's probably like an odor that's coming. Ugh, yeah, gross. inside of a body. You ever like you know like the piercing hole? You like, think you know so? What you I'm think saying? The, a stab? Like if you smelled a knife? If you after killed? You if you it killed into someone while they were dead? Yeah, I think it would smell. Pretty killed somebody while they were dead? Pretty somebody? It, Are we smell. ghost hunting? <laughs> It would be pretty. It would be p pretty pungent. Hence, every movie and TV show where they're like, ah. Oh, no, but that's oh. after a few days. Sometimes after a few days, but like pretty quickly. It's never immediately. How do you ever have a? How, you ever smell that piercing? The whole yeah. The, it pier the piercing stinks, dude. Also, belly oh, button smells. Disgusting. Belly button smell. Toe nails. Yeah. No, I'm not. The human beings stink. I'm just saying that the Ooh. death funk doesn't arrive for a few days. So no. uh, hygienically, it depends comp solely on them. But in terms of like... I think the inside of the body stinks. Immediately begins decomposing. Wow, and the smell of death can begin. Look at me not squinting. The body will begin to smell <laughs> due to various gases created by microorganisms during the stages of decomposition. I mean, it also depends how quickly they evacuate their bowels because that definitely is part of it. But again, like I said, I have an instant staff that is basically scooping these people into human dustpans and then dumping them into a wood chipper. If I'm getting stabbed, I'm shitting immediately. Just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just right out. I do feel like that would make me because every time that I drink too much coffee and there's that acidic ball build up in the middle of my gut, I feel like I'm being stabbed and then that kind of releases my asshole. Mm. I don't want to kick anybody in the balls. I I I I don't like hurting somebody does not get rid of what I what I need it to do. Like the shut up. Okay. <laughs> verbally verbally sometimes it's pretty great. <laughs> You know? What verbally. do you mean? Verbally. Verbally, yeah. It feels better than a physical. Oh, man. You know? I'll, I'll tell you what. I had a fun verbal confrontation with somebody the other day. So I went golfing on Monday with my buddy Timmy. And uh, it was just the two of us. So we got paired with two guys that we didn't know. They happen to be cool dudes. Younger guys. Good at golf. So I immediately am like, this sucks. Like, yeah. I hate being paired with people that are good because I'm like, I just feel like apologizing what the time entire you time. You go? <laughs> what what uh, time was your tea time? One eighteen on a Monday. Oh, yeah, that's weird for good golfers to be. They were young. They were really young. They were like probably 23, yeah. 24, something like that. So we, and it was freezing cold. But actually, I played really great. Turns out, not smoking weed and playing golf, maybe fine, and wearing glasses so you can see, fine tunes your performance. Yeah. Pretty great. I do think I want to get rec specs, though. Just what are those? Those are sport goggles that Horace Grant used to wear in the 90s. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, would be, that would be super fun. So, Whatever. We're behind these, uh, they, they were four 
Asian people. I, I'm not. I'm not sure which flavor, and but that will come into play. It will because <laughs> as as somebody who has played a bunch of golf and ha, who has been behind a lot of groups of Asians, they are a methodical golfing people. Either I have had enough yeah. of an information sample size to make this general. and a very good golfing. <laughs> They're great. I'm. I'm not. Uh, this is no like. This isn't necessarily negative, but it is. When it's freezing in the afternoon, you're trying to get in as many holes as humanly possible. And you're just like, not play, like we're not playing super fast. We were just playing of pace yeah. and they were basically playing for like almost a five hour round. Like that's yeah. the pace that they were playing. So it was just uh -huh. super fucking they, they slow. They were building the balls. Every <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're just doing Rubik's <laughs> cubes while chipping. Yeah. It's just too easy for them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the math is bullshit. It's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you know, methodical people, they're, they're taking forever to go. Finally, we're at like, the ninth hole actually to finish up the first nine and uh, the kid, you know, young guy, a little bit cocksure his, uh, his cousin apparently is the pro of the course screams like, Teddy! Cause like that nobody was going, they're on the green and literally nobody is putting. They're all yeah. just kind of lining it up and like cleaning their ball and shit. And we're just like, what the fuck is going on? Like, this is insane. Yeah. So they finally finish up and we're like, kind of like he heading down the course and out of nowhere, two of them in a course do a Tokyo drift skirt right in front of this guy and get out with the golf club. Whoa. And are like, fuck you, motherfucker. We're trying to fucking putt with well, a four hour pace. Fuck you. What the fuck? Like, instantly oh aggressive and what the kid what are they from that like asian mafia no thing? and i got it like the it, yakuza it does <laughs> suck that like and i'm not going to do the accent but there's nothing funnier than somebody that can't speak english screaming in english yeah like it's really funny with the with the accent too and it's just like it it might as well have been chickens clucking like it was insane and yeah. this guy just like he's a skinny little kid but he's like Fuck you, calm down. The guy's like kind of like this. And I don't know this kid. I don't give a shit if he gets his fucking temple crushed in by a nine iron. No. But I walk up and I'm like, buddy, like chill the fuck out, man. You don't run out of your cart with your club and say, calm down. Yeah. That's not how this works. I was like, you need to chill out. You're taking forever. And he's like, we are not. I'm like, stop talking right now. Yeah. I was like, you are currently on pace for a five hour round. I cannot believe that you don't know how time works. Like, yeah. uh, you know, threw in a little bit of a race. <laughs> and uh, <Yeah>. <laughs> what are you Pokemon hunting here? <laughs> <laughs> Where's your parachute pants and linoleum floor? <laughs> what are you deuce? Where's your glow sticks? <laughs> so oh, I feel just, weird in just the trying air. to jump in yeah, with you. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Feeny's just Thank you. I couldn't right. understand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Feeny's so the not racist. Yeah. The linoleum Feeny, floor I don't even thing. understand. They're break dancers. Yeah, but I would have said like cardboard. I would have also oh, cardboard. said cardboard. Well, yeah. linoleum is what they did in the 80s. Well, uh, well hey. It's 2022, so. <laughs> I actually think that's less racist to know the specifics. That's right. To know the old specifics. It's when break dance. Fall in. Big. <laughs> Fall in. Is it less <laughs> racist? Us, is know? it racist? <laughs> um, we'll probably cut this whole chunk out. But uh, so the guy. <laughs> I, I feel great about my. <laughs> yeah, Feeny looks great. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. You Why don't they ever talk about this when someone gets a job? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He They're stood like, up to two of his friends. <laughs> yeah, making yeah. insanely <laughs> insensitive Asian jokes. <laughs> He's so loyal to the network. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I spilled water all anyway. over myself. So whatever he's like, and the kid is like trying to verbalize. And I'm like, dude, you stop too. I was like, shut the fuck up. Your aggression is uncalled for. And now I'm pissed, but I'll actually do something about it. So yeah. go the fuck out, get the fuck out of here. And my friend, Timmy, who is like two fifty five and six, three and like yeah. a monster was like, I, where did that come from? <laughs> like, he was just like, what the fuck was that? And I was like, I don't know, man. I'm in a really subconsciously angry place right now. And yeah, I guess yeah. it all just kind of came out at these kids. And uh, yeah, I was willing to die. I was ready well, to Also, die. <laughs> here's the thing. And I don't know if you have analyzed this or even thought about this, but I guarantee that a part of you was acting that way, knowing that you had Tim with you. No, I because, yeah, maybe a little bit. Because there is... Even if you felt like you could take those two guys, having a rhinoceros in yeah. your golf cart next to you yeah. is like, oh, I'll talk some shit. Like, yeah, he, yeah. Was, he was far enough away to where it was my problem for a little bit. Yeah. Like, it would have definitely been my problem. So, But you knew you had backup. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. But I also, like, 
I don't know. They were young enough. One of them was like really yeah. Yao Ming, but uh, he was very tall. <laughs> you would have really took a fucking putter to the to the dome piece before uh, Timmy came in and helped you anyway. Yeah, I mean, either way, but it, it I don't it does... understand why you guys just didn't play through. Them. We did. We eventually did. Oh, yeah. Well, and then they actually complained that we were threatening them. And uh, <laughs> and started something, so we just got rerouted to a different set of nine holes. It was, oh it was a whole fucking big mess. So what's but, the question? Uh, <laughs> have you um, have you ever almost fought an Asian? Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. That's oh the yeah. Question. Um, so that all came from the kick somebody in the snatch question. Right. Alex the truck. <laughs> what? I didn't say. It. I laughed. Oh, uh, if you were in a foreign country, <laughs> would you stick your dick in a glory hole? No, no, I wouldn't even do that in this country. That's crazy. Well, I think that's the idea is that you are anonymous yeah, over there. So anon nobody. We're anonymous here. Pal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unless we're in Emmaus, Pennsylvania. That's right. Where oh, we're pretty man. anonymous. We yeah, have really centralized an audience to that specific <laughs> town and county. I mean, the, the glory holes here are pretty anonymous. Even if you're super famous, they don't have a hole at the fucking at your face. Yeah, this is more of a question for our next guest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> next week. <laughs> um, or but, was it last week? How is this coming out? I I'm going to. Let's, uh, yeah, Who cares? we'll matter. figure it Either out. Either last week or next week. Yeah. There's, there's nothing that really attracts me about a glory hole because the mystery itself is just not a turn on for me. No, I, I don't know why. It's an anxiety induced nightmare. Yeah, yeah. I know that works for some people and some people like the thrill of that shit, but I like the thrill of other stuff like that. Yeah. Getting caught. Or whatever, that doesn't really do it for me. Not even the getting caught. The me is always just like, what's to stop this person from biting. either biting or having a just a a fucking bee's nest of herpes all over their lips. That's oh, the one. Yeah. You're yeah, it's definitely I don't care what country you're in, herpes is forever. But I don't think they're biting you. I think and it's always it's probably a dude. If they do bite you, it's never what are you a gonna woman. Do about it's it? literally why would it ever be a woman? It's never a woman. A woman could pick out what about the a, penis she prefers. A woman truck driver. And if at that point just fuck in the stall. Right. Yeah, I don't think a woman I feel like women would just be like, Yeah, let's fuck. Like yeah. they wouldn't right. have to be like, let's see what's on the other side. Yeah, the woman is at the truck stop bar. She's not yeah. on the other side of a duct taped hole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think uh, brutal. I think the glory hole thing is that's probably the least anonymous that we'd be because these guys all they do is listen to podcasts and shit. We'd be, <laughs> we'd be, we'd be like, oh, they'd be like, oh, they see your eczema. They're like, Sagalo, Sagalo, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. There's a cookie stain on your white shirt. They're like, yeah, they, is that Brendan? They have a they have a milk mustache from my eczema. <laughs> my balls. <laughs> Just the pasty powder. <laughs> um, so convoy on no. No. Yeah, convoy on, I'll never do that. Nicole, has any part of you as a woman, since we do have access to a woman here, has any part of you ever uh, entertained a glory hole situation? Um, no, I feel like it really restricts you in a lot of nice. ways. Nice. So many yeah. ways. It does also cut the, the length off your dick. Tremendously. Also, yeah. you like, have are like, you making it to the other side? You would have to have like your face like pushed <laughs> up against the stall. You know what I mean? Right. To be like, yeah, you're like almost sucking well, out of the hot. side of your mouth. That would like be spit and chew. I have my face up against the stall. I, off a disgusting. Oh, Brendan's now breath. in. Yeah. Take back that convoy, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Give it back to the earth. <laughs> to the heavens. I'm giving my yeah. convoy yeah. back to the heavens. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's do this. Uh, Brandon FMK. Brandon. FMK, hand job, winter, spring, summer, and fall. What? Okay, oh, cool. like hand it. job. So, uh, what season would you prefer a hand job in? Oh, there's nothing like a foliage handy. Yeah, you know, nice, uh, nice pumpkin what spice hand cold? job. Yeah, you're not too cold. What if there's a cold? There's a cold chill. Yeah, cold. but then you can light a fire. Like I don't know what it was, and I don't know. <laughs> did I did I talk about this in my, uh, on the podcast? But <laughs> we have a wood burning stove in our in our first floor it's basically how we heat that floor yeah and it is never like it ramped up our sex life instantly and i don't know what it is it's like the cozy element it's seeing the fire so then your it's answer the is blankets winter. yeah what? so then your answer is winter it is i just yep <laughs> i didn't know it but thanks for finding that <laughs> i like a a summer sexual uh, summer's so um, hot yeah it is hot but there's something like a like a, a sexual like fling during the summer that's mm -hmm. uh that i really enjoy I'm just picturing you sweating on somebody and it's not doing anything for me yeah 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 i'm just uh i'm just 
It's hot when it's like <laughs> Rosie Perez and Spike Lee, you know, of in a course. heat wave. Yeah. Like that to me is like, all right, dewy face. That's I could get a, into this. A, yeah. That's but Sagalo. No, I'm like, I'm like, you don't like ugh. that scene? It's very weird. It does not age well. Oh, I don't it's, think I've seen it in a while. It's, I've it's always hot, just, but he, then you would remember that he wrote it and directed it yeah. and casted her yeah. and acted in the scene. Yeah. So he just was like casting her being like, yeah, I want to rub ice all over your nipples. Like, it's like Jeez, such a fucking right. weird. And then to be like, we didn't get it. Yeah, we're yeah, going yeah. again. Yeah, uh, we're going like, again. Oh, weird. I guess Sagalo focused this shot because hey. it's blurry. <laughs> I'm blaming the camera here because <laughs> my camera's all grainy and shit. We gotta, yeah. we gotta fix it up. Right. How many? Uh, how much research have you done? A lot. You were d- there during a lot. I of watched it. you watch a YouTube video for yeah, sure. Yeah, and then the next day I watched the video and I put together my whole fucking thing, and it still doesn't look. Well, good. the problem you had a you had a physical smudge on the lens. That you, you're what, a fucking that's... smudge. What's the next question? <laughs> Wow. You're a smudge on my life. Man of intense laziness, huh? Oh, I have not. That's, that should be... Man of... The name of my album? <laughs> yeah, it should be. But you Man should be like... intense laziness. Dressed up very nice and just like the top half, and then it's just like sweatpants at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, I can't yeah. believe how upset you got over that. Yeah, it's it's triggering. I'm kind of just playing sure. it. I'm, I'm, I'm not really that upset. I'm, I'm playing it up a little mm. bit. Mm. That sounds like somebody that's upset. Your no, arms no. are... <laughs> Fiercely crossed. Yeah, weird. <laughs> weird. Your skin's tight where your arms are. <laughs> oh, um, because I'm fucking working out. Dude. Yeah, that's right. Sags and I went to the gym twice. Oh, oh in five stuff. days? Yeah. And I, I decided, no, we went Nicole, I think Brendan and I and you, we should film a series called uh, Bodybuilding for Pussies because I think I can teach retards how to lift. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, I've, I've been taught. But can you make them drink? keep going? Yeah, yeah. Can I make them straight? Did you say? <laughs> no, drink. I was going to say. Oh, uh, what? Would like lead a horse to water. I see. I liked it. Thanks. Uh, after a minute, John O. Brendan gave me a, uh, a I guess like a good. Mark Norman ripoff face, like kind of a thing. But <laughs> guys, a man of intense laziness. Who? How could he come up with it? Just a, an original <laughs> face. <laughs> I would rather come up with nothing than that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> this is a real fight. Let's yeah. get into it. Let's get into it. I thought you were going to end that sentence. I would rather come up with that than uh, to then. do something else. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you finish it. Yeah, you finish the You get it, tired. you fuck. Yeah, and I'll just repeat the punchline. <laughs> <laughs> repeat the punchline. <laughs> yeah, it feels good, doesn't it? <laughs> no. No, not that one. <laughs> Jono. If you had to choose one TV slash movie car as your sole means of transport, which car do you pick and why? What a great oh, question. Man, that's I already question. know what I'm picking. I'm so picking the fucking, the muscle car from Fast and the Furious 1 that Vin Diesel has. Yeah. Just oh, that that. It's got so much torque, it twisted off the chassis. <laughs> the chassis twisted off the line. I just want a fucking crazy nice, <laughs> like Those old school muscle cars. I'm oh free. yeah! All right, when I get really upset at a red light and I start going, it's like it like goes yeah. up on yeah, two dude, wheels dude, for yes, a couple feet. Yes, you go over a train. Track I like Vin Diesel's RX Seven better than that car, though. That first red. Just <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, but all the problems, oh, every, fuck every yeah. gear shift sounds like a cannonball. But all of <laughs> those cars awesome. have aged so like the Supra that fucking uh, <laughs> Paul Walker has and stuff. They don't look as cool now. Well, because it's like, burned to a crisp. Oh, oh, oh R.I.P. Uh, <laughs> R. I mean, that's the response Come on, I folks. get to a show fun one. Shows. Oh, I didn't realize he was your idol. <laughs> <laughs> What's that song? The song that they play when they're going off into. It's been a long day. Found you, my friend. <laughs> oh, when they. Fe- I would have changed that to family. I will yeah. say this, man. Watching that scene, and I think I've said it on several programs before, but yeah. uh, that scene where they shuttle in his lookalike brother and then film far away beach scene with him playing <laughs> with kids and all that horse shit, I was blubbering like a little <laughs> yeah, baby he- boy. <laughs> it was. Uh, it was so sad. <laughs> uh, I think I would take the, and I think it's this, the Monte Carlo. Carlo from Training Day, his fu- his car. Oh, oh, that's a nice one. That is a nice car. That dude. is a just nice the fucking car. cruise. You immediately go. You put you just still Dre is just in that car yeah. forever. Bling bling bling. And it just hands you a bowl of angel dust as soon as you get it. I didn't know you like to get wet. Like, of course I do. Look at me I'm sweating. I'm sweating right now. I, I had Chipotle on the way. I'm surprised, and I'm also not gonna take it because it seems like too obvious. But the Back to the Future DeLorean uh, oh. that has to be that has to be referenced as honorable mention. I, yeah, I would assume with 
time travel ability. Well, then there's also right. the that's night, what we're talking there's also, about. Yeah. There's also Kit from Knight Rider. Right. You know, there's yeah. That. Right, I don't right. want my car having. I don't want it being sentient, sentient. and talking to me. I'm pick, no. I'm pick my nose in the car. I flick it. I'm jerking off in parks parking spots. <laughs> I don't want my car going. You should have been home by now. <laughs> <laughs> Burger King again. Yeah, Brendan. <laughs> Please stop bringing me through Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't walk. That's not what I meant. Can you think about cleaning up these cups? <laughs> did you just... In between that sentence? He did, right? Did it I? sounded like you That's got a awesome. message. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I'm like, yeah, on like some like third party app where that's the notification. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I just got a, a mediocre joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, there's so many, it, there's so many good ones. I like some of the old Shelby Cobras from like the Bond Shelby movies. Morris. With uh, And for somebody like Ooh, me the with the amount of road thing. rage that I've had, I would love for some sort of turret gun to come Dude, out of yeah. the fucking you hood. That Mad Max gun. <laughs> Just take, oh my god, maybe a mad car Mac with like the two dune stereos. Buggy with you the, got the guy playing, playing, the guy a playing guitar, guitar on your roof. <laughs> <laughs> I also oh, kind of want Mike's driving, like, I don't even like this kind of music. <laughs> it's making me angrier. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think that might be the choice. Or the van from Teen Wolf that he gets on top of and surfs down the street. That's yeah. pretty cool. Maybe the maybe the Scooby Doo van would be pretty cool. <gasps> nope. The red Corvette from Rad. The 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 one that Crew Jones won by winning Hell Track. Which, by the way, I just watched the final race with Crew for like the first conscious time of his life, and he recognized that it's the same name as him. Was rooting for him, could see him the entire Whoa. time, and I was hysterically crying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, you're gonna have a lot of moments where you have to take the glasses off and and clean. Yeah, the I don't wear these all day. I can't. I yeah. just, but, I, and for those of you who think I'm wearing empty lens like Vini accused me of before the program, <laughs> uh, no, I had to get these because they would not renew my license <laughs> if I didn't. They, they, I went to a family friend who should have been an inside job in and out, and she asked me what line I could see, and I yeah. said, what lines? I truly <laughs> yeah. couldn't see anything. It was, uh, it was bizarre. I'm surprised you didn't say any car from the, the Cars series. Like Lightning McQueen or, yeah. or uh, St uh, Jackson Storm. Yeah. Jackson Storm might be it, but he was voiced by Army Hammer. Uh, so I don't I want him to eat up. rape me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think, Whatever happened with that? I think he... Whatever had, happened to predictability? I think well, he, like... I think that was, like, mis... Like, disproved. Like, I think he got off, like, totally... He went to sex rehab, though. He did do yeah. that. And I think he's, uh, like, we gotta, now... We got to talk to our, our last week kids. or next week guest about that, too, because he was a staunch... Supporter of of him of Army Hammer, yeah, because he was nice. he it was you know kink shaming is what it was it was being yeah sometimes to people want to yeah. cut off a slab of meat and slurp it down while they're inside of you yeah as long as it's not like you're cutting people you're up but that is it. what you're doing yeah but, but he didn't do it they're cool with it how do we know? he didn't do anything he's also the heir to the Arm and Hammer like fortune so this guy is blue blood Illuminati is that, I is, wouldn't... Is that why his, yes his name is just Spanish Arm and Hammer yes. Arm E Hammer <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes that's why it's like I wouldn't put anything are, are you are you doubting that me? just I just I have that. to doubt it until Nicole pulls it up I'd guarantee it. Or at least that's what my mom told me confidently. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I totally buy it. He seems like that, I right? He looks like a fucking Winklevoss, them. legitimately. Yeah. That's probably like why it went away. They were like, you know, the Illuminati was like, oh, we get the eating people part. We don't even get the fucking them part. Yeah, just stop saying it around phones. <laughs> <laughs> we have Illuminati competitors that yeah. are trying to knock our Illuminati out of business. Yeah, Freemasons. <laughs> have you heard of the Masons? They're <laughs> charging nothing. It might be his grandpa. <laughs> yeah. But unconfirmed. Wrong. His I think your mom was making a dad joke. No. I, I looked her in the in the eyes and I said, "Are you fucking with me?" And she said, "No, I'm serious." And I was that like, would, well, "That would make it more funny." Yeah, she's like, yeah. "This fucking idiot's gonna talk about it on a podcast." Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, I'm no, I'm totally serious. <laughs> uh, sweat more on your upper lip. Oh wait a minute, Courtney Leonard. <laughs> Hold on, now people are getting angry. Uh, <laughs> while he's not water. the heir to the throne, Fuck. his family once owned a share in the company. So, so they connect. They created. So it. guess so it's what, a idiot? Yeah. Your mom you got, a liar. You got no. played. No, she told that means a funny he still joke. Has. Yeah, your mom played you. If I'm an, what do you mean I would a funny tell joke? That to my kid. That's a oh. terrible joke. No. if it's that close to the truth. He's from the Arm and Hammer for, fortune. Is he really? Yeah, if of I course. Know any, Arm E 
Amherst. <laughs> well, you said that. It's a great joke. <laughs> well, I he, stand by He's it. a trained professional. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see. I'm giving your mom credit. <laughs> yeah, see. Uh, but no, they were clearly involved in it. Better known. I wanted this. A- this actually. <laughs> this, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> this convinces me further because the mystery behind it only makes me uh, think that they created it from the ground up and they are total shadow people. <laughs> <laughs> it is often claimed that Arm and Hammer is the man behind baking soda and cleaning bread, Arm and Hammer. However, the Church and Dwight brand that f- first hit shelves 31 years ago Dwight. before Hammer was born. Jesus. That still doesn't it doesn't fully disprove it. I think it, it really did, doesn't. But um, I feel disproved. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Courtney <laughs> Leonard glasses about to fog up. <laughs> they already are. I feel, I, I, I feel like you got oh, no. slammed, dude. <laughs> Let's call you. You feel that way? Should I? (laughs) You feel that way? Hey, uh, remember, we've done a lot of work to get back to this place. (laughs) And you just (laughs) deceived me on national television (laughs) during halftime of the Super Bowl. And uh, I'm fucking livid. Courtney Leonard, if you had to wear a tracksuit made of meat to run three miles through a forest of mountain lions, which type of meat would you choose and why? You got to go with the thickest meat. That's a good warthog stomach. Yeah, some shit. Porterhouse. You think <laughs> the thickest meat is somehow going to protect you as you slowly jog through a forest while droves of mountain lions are attracted to your body? Well, I mean, there's two ways to look at it. Mm-hmm. The thickest meat, if you get attacked, you have a good chance of surviving. The thinnest meat, you have a good chance of running. Yeah. But I don't think that I don't think the you get heaviest, bit, you're fucked. I don't think the heaviest meat in the world is going to slow me down as much as it will help provide impact resistance because I'm not outrunning them, no, no matter how thin. If I have if I have no, slice of even pastrami trees, on me, but you can think of a meat that is not their delicacy. So like jellyfish. This is what you do. That's not a meat. You, no, there's got to be some meat. There Slap is no some meat. Tie, you can, you tie can clearly see geni- it's not meat. But it's still <laughs> what is it made animal. Of? Wait, yeah, meat, what is it? But, but wait, is, what is it made of? Jelly? No, it's like, it's more gelatiny than jelly. But it's still... But it's still a living it's, creature it's that meat. has a skin. That's skin. Yeah, but it's... It's it said a, any meat. But it's a viscous solid. It's viscous liquid. Whatever. It's a solid. It is a tangible solid. Like it what is it? Yeah, it's, you can put your it's finger so, right it's not, through. No, you can. No, you yes, you can. can. And it's I not have a hundreds. Hun- it goes. No, I'm saying there's no resistance. It goes right through. There used to be jellyfish. You just stab it through the brain immediately if you touch it. It's Easily. paper mache. It's 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 whatever is a barely a step above paper mache. Is it's a living thing with a body. You, jellyfish That's used to get, that is meat. Jellyfish is used to. I got a jellyfish point. alarm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they have no bones. Yeah. They're just made of slimy jelly like material. Yeah. This is, they used to be, you know, dude, when you go to the beach in Long Island, thousands of jellyfish war, wash up on the shore. You can literally wash. just your, yeah. They wash up and drove. <laughs> <laughs> There's the Philly beaches. <laughs> you go to the Wawa, <laughs> wash up on shore. Yeah. You check out that jellyfish, it washed up on the shore. <laughs> <laughs> you. I had a couple things. This is what you do. Okay fucking porterhouses or whatever the most expensive biggest meat that you can wear because you're not wearing it t-bones because then there's bones to also but you guys impact. are adding, if you, let me finish but if you know this is a debate <laughs> show <laughs> so oh you have yellow pits already no, I don't. i'm just kidding go ahead <laughs> <laughs> The ghost of asthma. <laughs> yeah, that was the little boy inside the back of Brendan's mouth talking. <laughs> um, this is what you do. You get like porterhouses or whatever, anything, because you're not wearing the steak. As soon as you see one coming, you're t- ripping it off, throwing it at its fucking face, and then it'll it'll be distracted by and it. the bones, and then they'll fight over them for sure. Exactly, they're just hungry. They don't. Care I like what that idea. Getting. You know, yeah. you didn't say that before, and then well, I that's what I was you. saying when I yeah. You know what? I do. You know what? I'll keep. I'll do one better. I'll keep them on me, but I'm gonna char them to a crisp, well done. That and way they're just... chewy. So that way it's like a, it's like a Teflon vest when they're trying to bite through. Yeah, them. I just think they're knocking you down. Like that's the problem is that you're not able to outrun them and or absorb the punishment because they are so 
fucking intense. They are ripping those off your body and just diving into your meat anyway. Yeah, but not if they got salt. I think we got to find. They don't want to fight. What? They don't yeah. I think we got to find something. Tell that to the jogger that <laughs> ran through whatever the fuck. Did <laughs> you yeah. ever see that video of the fucking young uh mountain lion? But he got away. Yeah, he did, but there's been dozens of dead because of them. Oh man, there was one video I nest? saw on YouTube, the nest. Yeah. Yeah, they went they right in the, they, they were trying to make eggs. There was trying, one... They were trying to get the mountain lion eggs. <laughs> What's the next That's question? That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> next I just was like make eggs. Um HTS Dive Bar. You are the owner of a brand new concept, Coyote Ugly. What's your draw? What song are people dancing on the bar to? So, like, you got to think of a way to exploit either women, men, or other in a sexual way that draws people in. I I think you got to do, um, I'm going, like, the Abbey and the Birdcage route where I'm doing... I'm doing a gay bar, and then it's gonna be um, what's the song from the end of the Birdcage uh, that they sing for like seven minutes? It's the what is it, Gloria Stefan? Or can you look up that song, Nicole? It's like that famous. It's such a famous song that it's it's blanking me and it's driving me crazy. Yeah, uh, yeah. I like watching this. <laughs> uh, it's I could see Gene Hackman dressed as a woman singing drag? it, singing the lot. Yeah, in drag, it's raining men. No, but it's like in that world. Yeah. It's very close to the Oh, we are That's family. right. Yeah, yeah. There it is. yeah. That's and then and then they all get, everyone gets on the bar. Everybody had a sink. I never get realized how big Gene insane. Hackman was until that yeah. scene. He's like he's six four. Big dude. Yeah, he's huge. Wow. Um, but I think uh that would be the move because gay bars attract men, attract women because they feel safe, attract lesbians because they're like, We're also safe here. It's it's the end I feel like What about the gay bar that was shot up? So Just the don't one put it in Orlando. I yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be in a coastal city. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. You're not doing gay bar Houston. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Salt Lake City. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I would do because I feel like that's the it's move. That's to make the most amount of money. That's a good idea. A Mine's good gonna idea. be for kids. <laughs> I was gonna say that. Damn it. It's gonna be for. We're young always kids. guaranteed some sort of pedophile <laughs> humor here. And here's the scenario: young kids who are just trying to get fucking hammered. Security will be paid very well. Um, yeah. And it's also going to be a bar that uh, has a little switch on the wall. Yeah. So that way, if any cops come in, you pull the, the thing and it becomes like a bowling alley. Oh, or you're something hiding like the that. children. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be hiding my children factory. And uh, the music that's going to be. I thought it was a bar. Swing back yeah. like a speakeasy. Yeah, exactly. Then the kid, oh, and then they come back They all out. pull books out. Oh, <laughs> that makes this way worse. Well, they're, I mean. I understand. Yeah, isn't they're it, not being um, sexually assaulted. So just why are you hiding them? So they're just because dressed it, they're sexy. children. They're not supposed to be drinking. They're like six. Oh, you're letting them drink. Oh, 16. I thought you. I thought they were like six. Keep up, John Taffer. This is what's happening. <laughs> 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 I'm creating a bar for kids who are 16 or 17 years old so teenagers. to be you're able. Saying kids. Teenagers, not kids. Teenagers are He's kids. Not uh, kids. It's the episode of Always Sunny. Exactly. Yeah. Oh. But the music that's, that's going to be original. playing. The music, oh! <laughs> <laughs> the music that's going to be playing is uh, 90s dance techno. Oh, so you're going to force the children to listen to music that they don't know. Yeah, you that's like, that's your problem with it? That's the theme. <laughs> And your honor. <laughs> I can forgive the underage drinking, yeah. the, the for sure sexual assault, the lying to the police. You said there wasn't sexual assault. Well, there's for sure going to be sexual assault. <laughs> That's why it's called the assault. That's yeah. what it's <laughs> we call it SA. The assault yeah. and pepper. Yeah. Assault, assault and pepper is the name of the bar. I've always assault e pepper. <laughs> assault e pepper. <laughs> <laughs> I um, Our famous salt and pepper for fame, obviously, as you know. For, for his, mother, his mother was <laughs> you his fucking mother, idiot. Shut up. His mother shut was up. Virginia Salt, and shut his up. father was Tommy, Tommy Pepper. Uh, now that now that's a joke that took yeah. no laziness. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've always, and this is just so assuming, hot. is what? Yeah, you're glistening. It's so hot. Take the jacket off. Take it off. Part of the outfit. It is a part of the outfit. Yeah. You can't lose it. Yeah. 
Well, I, uh, I've i always wanted to develop, so I have this idea for a bar, and I'm pretty sure somebody's already done it, but I have an idea for a bar in New York that is uh, half laundromat and half sports bar, meaning that you can go there on Sundays if you're a dude and do your weekly laundry while getting hammered and watching football and smoking weed. That's a fantastic idea. It's, kind of a it idea, is a fantastic right? idea. It's one that we've talked about on podcasts many yeah. times, and every time you bring it up, I do have to remind you it fully exists. Every Does it? Time. That yeah, exists? Yeah, 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 Where? In Portland. What's I it called? I told you, there's like... Yeah, hun- there's like what hun- are they? They charge fucking hemp bartering? There's <laughs> like, like, there's like, there's one that... Because I, because Erica and I, I had this idea of doing a, a bar, a bar laundromat, because you're like, these customers are stuck here. What are they going to do? Yeah. They're going to let them drink. We're going to call it Suds and Buds. Great name. Perfect name. And wow. uh, it's, uh, it fully exists. Yeah, not that exact name, but so what? You could still do it here. It doesn't exist yeah. here. Do one in New York. Yeah, and also yeah, I, I want there is one here. It's almost like a blind barber situation. Yeah, but mine would also be cigar lounge. So bar laundromat. Oh, cigar so just lounge. so you so, so you the undo clothes. the clothes smell. <laughs> You just have to Look, keep going no. back into Not the water. Don't even have the, the filtration. There. <laughs> the filtration system is so good that it never leaks out. Oh, so that's that's in the back room. Yeah, yeah, it's called filter. But uh, I also wanted to develop a uh, like a multi tier bar similar to Turtle Bay that has all those like different bars and it almost feels like a different place every yeah. time you're in a different level. Yeah. But each of them is designed for a different drug. So like the first floor would be alcohol, second floor would be weed, third floor would be cocaine, and then yeah. fourth floor would be hallucinogens. Yeah. You know, and everything was designed to fit that drug. So the third floor would be all mirrors and uh, and yeah. just good music, light show. All that stuff, just you know, fucking r- rip rolling. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Fourth floor beanbag chairs, a lot of uh, very fun scenery, kind of books. Maybe book, maybe books, but mostly picture books, art books, stuff mm. that you can kind of absorb yourself in while not like losing your mind to the fact that uh, letters yeah. are wiggly, and uh, that and it would have very very cool music, all that stuff suitable for a for a trip. Very. Uh, or orchestrated. Yeah. And uh and I would also like some sort of it, Gelso and Grand did this for Illuminati party, the the show I co-host, and they have like their whole top is almost like nature like it's like tree branches and fucking leaves and stuff and it looks kind of it, it looks cool at least it would if you were certainly hallucinating in yeah. a welcoming environment. Like a rainforest cafe kind of thing. Yeah, so that's what I would be. And, and it, I might I might combine mushrooms and weed, you know, because those two are kind of like peanut butter and chocolate. They go together pretty well. Kind of. But if you're too high and you're with some or if you're high and you're with somebody who's like all on mushrooms, I'm, yeah. I'm kind of like, eh. yeah, yeah, separate. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That right. place I went to in Barcelona, that nightclub was the like it kind of felt like what you were saying, because it was it was uh, one floor. It was three floors and there was. The bottom floor was like huge. It almost looked like fucking like Terminal Five. Like it was like yeah. a huge music venue playing like today's hits. Then you go upstairs, and there was like a small, like a small room that was had just like a DJ, just like playing like EDM. And then you went to another room, and it was more. It was like another DJ, but playing totally different type of music, like trap music, you know. Yeah. And then you would go like outside in this little like walkway bridge, and that's where everyone's just fucking chain smoking cigarettes. And then there was another. Cool. It was crazy. It was pretty like it was pretty cool to be like. Yeah, I'm not feeling this. Let's go up to here. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm feeling this. Hip hop. All right, let's go over here. It's actually similar to Chill Cute Charlie's in Alaska, which we will be talking about on the Patreon six months after the fact. And uh, <laughs> I mean, except every room was cocaine. <laughs> you know, it'd be a cool idea for a bar, like that kind of idea, but the different levels are uh, where you're at drunk wise in the night. So, like, the first level is this, like, Bumping kind of like pregame kind of thing where you're having fun. People are taking is it bumping then? Because that uh, the pregame yeah, is almost like quiet. you want to be able to talk. It should be like piano in the yeah. background, like yeah, a lobby piano. Yeah, and then you're like, oh, I'm drunk, and somebody fucking grabs you, and they're like, you gotta go down to the second level. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Charlie McDennis. Except, there's, uh, yeah. there's no game to win. There's the salt in every one of Sagalo's yeah. bars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also an always sunny and always similarity. Sunny. Yeah. Those three guys get to drink for free. <laughs> <laughs> I just want Glenn Howerton to be at my bar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Brandon, again, HTS, real life Thanos snap, and two of the hosts turn to flakes. The Patreon is really cooking. I'm already Nicole flakes. And Nicole. <laughs> 
Yeah, you are frosted. <laughs> the Patreon is really cooking, and Nicole forces you to keep it going with two new people so she can keep living the life she's been accustomed to since joining on. <laughs> yeah, Nicole, is, she's like one of those ladies. She's like Kobe's <laughs> wife. You have to pay her off a hundred mil just yeah. so she can sustain the lifestyle we've provided. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you pick, gentlemen? My calendar is wide open. Just saying. <laughs> Brandon, you're in. I'll take two Brandons. Yeah, I'll take two Brandons. Two Brandons. Um, who do you pick? So we're dead. You're alive. Nicole wants to keep it going. Who's going? Luke. Luke Monez. Luke Monez and uh I think Ian probably. Wow. Maybe. Two Definitely you've Luke. Learn nothing. Just two Luke more and whites. Scott. Yeah. Scott Chaplin, maybe. You've truly learned nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the definition of insanity is reliving. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> or I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, those two. I'll go with okay. those two. Stop rolling your eyes. Uh, I wanted a better answer, but that that's like real. I'm picking so. <laughs> I'm picking Yamanika and Jay McBride. Oh, that's great. That's a <laughs> yeah, good answer. And that would be a killer pod. Yeah. <laughs> You should start that pod. I did. I should. This is over. Thanks, yeah. Brandon. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> um, I, I mean, a part of me is just like fucking Tom Segura and Bill Burr, you know, or like some like two very famous. Uh, that's people. called Feeney trying to get a word in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I do think it would be. F I would love to do like. I mean, I always find Will Sasso on podcast so he's funny. He's so funny, man. And he's like a great yes ender, and he always is like doing bits and Good stuff answer. like that. He would be a great personality. Yeah. And then I'm trying Does to. Does he think have a podcast? Yeah. Uh, and then I'm trying to think of who else who would be because you need a different kind of personality for that. Maybe like a more of like a quiet, maybe like Hannibal or someone Chris who's just like Katana. a quiet, dry. No. This God, is what you do. God, God, no. <laughs> you do a podcast with Louis C.K. and Crystalia. And just be like, call it Edge Lords or something. <laughs> that's like, already a pod. Well, it's long done. It's done. No kidding. Like a year ago. Wow, yeah. good. I or, did it. Or you do it as the last episode. You yeah. do it with Louis and the comic that he that like was like he sexually assaulted me. Yeah, you just man. do it together, and you go, <laughs> you go, hey, figure it out. <laughs> yeah, it's called mediator. Oh, you lock them. You lock <laughs> yeah. them in a room together yeah. and yeah. force them to that's figure cool. it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah, won't yeah. bring yeah. up any past trauma for no. her. I'm sure. That's a good. Another idea. assault based <laughs> answer. <laughs> good idea. As long as Louis's <laughs> chair is directly in front of the door. Brendan's <laughs> 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 pink nipples are showing through his teeth. It's climate. Back to always sunny. Oh, it's so it's so sunny because in here. of the implication. Yeah. They'll work it out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, All right, talk it out. The podcast <laughs> has this been two hours? Uh, almost. We have a couple more minutes left. <laughs> Cerna Steezies, Cerna style. Would you rather Satan? You're the son of the Dark Lord and going through puberty. Would you rather develop horns, wings, or hooves first? Hooves is out of the question. Hooves, you can run them. <laughs> hooves, you, it doesn't hurt. Nah, your feet. I, I wish I you never could have seen. Looked. I wish you could have seen the small. Uh, what is it called? Like seizures uh, that your face had, like the <laughs> yeah, involunt spasm, spasm, involuntary muscle spasm. Because Brendan and I get this too. Is sometimes when I'm like insecure or even nervous about something, my lip will just be like. What am I nervous about? I don't know. That answer. You gave an answer <laughs> and then looked at me and then we're like, <laughs> your face just started trying to move itself into a different section. In a, in a podcast where I've talked about assaulting people like four times in 20 minutes, I don't think hooves is the thing that's going to make me nervous. I think it was the eye contact and intimacy. Maybe. Yeah. That's so true. I know. Start looking deeper. Well, because now you know I can see. Yeah. And now I'm giving intense eye contact. Yeah. And I'm never letting go, dude. <laughs> <laughs> or a golden retriever. <laughs> Have you ever sat in front of a dog and just tried to stare them down? And yeah, they're, they're like, like, yeah, they don't look at you. <laughs> dogs are the biggest I, just I, liar well, faces of all yeah. time. Well, it's supposed to be a uh, an act of a, yeah, it's aggression. An act of aggression. Yeah. yeah. Well, fuck you, dog. No hooves. What is it? Hooves I, or claws? Hooves, or horns, or tail horns is uh horns would be pretty just badass. it's so badass Dude, it's just, just, it's all no, for that wings would be or hooves wings, oh, is wings sucks. the most practical oh, nothing though. no it's the least practical but you're getting bat you can't wear any of your oh, clothes it would anymore. be bat right I mean, you can 
Because you can, you'll tuck it in and wear a jacket over it. What if you go to talk and you extend your arms? Now none of this. You have all this extra. Skin then you that's scare being the up. fuck out of people, dude. How <laughs> yeah, I'm, sick I'm would that be? I'm looking to entertain. If tonight I'm on stage and I'm just like, <laughs> dude, people I'm, would scream would be, and run, and I'd be like, <laughs> they wouldn't be able to run. Yeah, Why? no, they wouldn't. Like the jeepers, jeepers because Brendan monster. would be Why locking the be? door. Well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Brendan just now you just can't Brendan, leave. Brendan's too busy assaulting no. them. For Mike's them. the one with the wings grabbing people. Yeah, I'm a nice with boy with legs. wings, and I show them wings. They all mistake that for evil. They run to the door. You're locking it for some reason. And you're like, where are the out. kids? <laughs> you're, you're targeting the. Where kids. are the children? Uh, I would say horns. <laughs> horns is cool. It looks good. Yeah. Comedy career is set. You can have sure, fucking albums you're where Jewish. you're like, yeah, you know, you're, you're like, yeah, you, you already got, got your first name, Horny. Yeah, Horny. Yeah. Horny for jokes. Horny Adams. <laughs> there you go. That sucks. <laughs> hey, Brendan opens for him. Hey, <laughs> and he's not allowed to my... do crowd work <laughs> or be dirty. Can we, all, no, he can we do look... crowd work tonight? No. He no, you can't. <laughs> he wouldn't let All right, no, Horny. Can. Brendan got so horny. More like ornery no, you Adams. Oh, you absolutely can. Hell. You absolutely can. Um, because you're going after me. I choose me. not. So, <laughs> am I? <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, <laughs> so Brendan, Brendan got actually offended at something I said at Comics Mohegan Sun because as he's closing up in classic Brander's fashion, he uh, he's like about to bring me on, and then he's like, "What do you do for a <laughs> yeah, living?" Yeah. And I'm like, "Awesome." The lights blinking. And he, and he like hits him with like three obvious things that I would have totally opened the show with and uh, was kidding around and go, wait to, wait to leave some on the bone for me. But I was like, wait to leave some crowd work on the bone. And he, he was like, yeah, as well, he was walking well, off you stage, gotta work like on a your, sour You puss. gotta work on your I'm kidding face and voice. No, no, I think that's you. I, I think we both have your face. an issue with it because uh, I was you smiling went, while you went, saying it. You went, wait to leave some on the bone. And I was like, oh, geez. I said, wait to leave some crowd work for me. As I'm smiling and Brendan's like, <laughs> well, of course you're right in your t side of the story. Right. Whereas I'm right in my side of the story. So Why are you right? I think though? you're both idiots. <laughs> Why are you right? Though? Because it didn't sound like you were kidding. Sure. So, I mean, I but didn't even really even I care, but I didn't even really get that offended by your it. face said otherwise. I was forced You're to address someone it. someone right after the, uh, you know, I'm, 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 uh, the fucking Mohegan Sun's a dog fight. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> Every <laughs> show, Brendan and I came off stage just like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I'm getting shell shock and my, and the sergeant's going, You're doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> He's your sergeant. Well, in, in that, in that, uh, that is a regret fucking yeah. saying that. <laughs> is Fall soldier. in line, soldier. <laughs> <laughs> we got one more question. Uh, we have not done plugs. No, but that you guys get it. Like Follow at us, all, right? Twitter, no. Instagram. Wow. Check out our shit. Check out the Patreon. Yeah, Patreon. I'm on the road Patreon. heavy, Patreon. too. So come out to Best that. MikeCannonComedy.com for all the dates. Uh, I'm all over. Roar, Roar, Massachusetts, May 14th. Really, uh, really pumping that one out there. That's going nice. to be big. Is that still New outside? Hampshire the weekend before that. No, it's inside. Oh, nice. Um, and uh, I'm going to go to the Basketball Hall of Fame. Very excited about that. Um, and uh, subscribe to my YouTube, May 18th. I'm announcing it here, May 18th. White Privilege Homeless. My next special is coming out. YouTube.com slash Mike Cannon Comedy. Subscribe, share it, all that shit. I'll obviously be doing every podcast blitz known to man. So uh, you're going to hear just a lot of the same shit from me for Hell yeah. about two weeks. YouTube.com slash Mike Feeney Comedy and Twitch.tv slash NY Freshmaker. Please uh, go and subscribe to both. Mm -hmm. And uh, Sags to Riches on Twitch and Instagram and uh, Twitter at Brennan Sagal. All right. Last question. Last question. That's a dare say. Alex the truck. Oh, you know what? I want to. I want to end on a positive note. I'm going to do this one from Good. Alex the truck. What is your perfect day? And the only stipulation is you can't do comedy. Oh, huh. That would be a part of my perfect day. I know. So I guess. That's but what do you have? The stipulation. What is in your life that you love that you uh, that you'd like to do? Here's my perfect day. Okay. It's honestly, I mean, this is my second time saying summer because I'm, I am a, I'm a fall girl myself, but this is, I think the, the perfect day is a barbecue with my friends, my girlfriend, everybody's hanging out, smoking weed for hours until, you know, the sun goes down. We're all full from the food. It's just a good day. We're playing Frisbee and shit beer pong, whatever it is. And I also don't have a drinking problem, so I'm hammered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think
think that's a perfect day and just doing it yeah. like, like a Saturday too, where it's like literally no stress. You no stress. You can't guilt yourself and being like, oh, it's fucking Tuesday, man. I should be yeah. creating reels. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't subtitled video. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm going. I'm going a uh, a unseasonably warm fall day, mm. and then I'm gonna do. It's gonna be yeah. It's gonna be a lot of eating. It'll be like wake up, have like have like some uh, some brunch with friends, little mimosas, you know. Then I love the idea of doing an afternoon barbecue where it's like nice outside into and just having like frisbees and can jam and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And then as night falls, then we bust out a fire. Bust out a nice yeah. fire, yeah. Where the Burn grill the is still the like the grill is still cooking. If we want to do that kind of a thing, yeah. And then you could do some marshmallows, just hang out, drink with some good pals. Oh, it sounds awesome! And then a like time. a movie at night. Yeah, you like, put on a movie. I don't really like outdoor whatever. projection screen movie. Is pretty yeah. Fun. I don't really I get like too cold at those. Yeah, I don't really care for <laughs> movies with. Like, Bring a sweatshirt. <laughs> it's one of my least favorite things in parties is when someone puts on a movie. No, no, it's, I'm not. There's almost, there's almost nothing I hate more. I'm I, saying when everybody's gone and you're just with your lady and then oh, you guys just oh. put on a movie, sit in the den, try whatever, to fuck. try to fuck. Yeah. yeah. Fuck later. I think I wake up around 8.30 a.m. I have breakfast with my, with my family, with my immediate family. We have a good breakfast. We sit. I oh, go, I sleep in, by the way, too. I didn't yeah, mention that. Yeah, I yeah, sleep the I'm, fuck I'm in. going by hour, by the way. Yeah. I'm, uh, I've, I've had time to think about this now. So I have time <laughs> to enjoy my, my, my son and my wife. Early in the morning, we have breakfast. It's great. I go to the gym. I need to go to the Ooh. gym. So I get my endorphins pumping. I'm feeling positive. I'm already accomplishing something. I've spent time with my family. I'm going to the gym. I come back home, and I'm, I'm showered. I'm ready for the day. It's summertime, and it's outdoor family time till around three. So around 3 PM. So it's, it's, it's Nicole, my son, my sisters, my mom, you know, maybe my dad, but, uh, you know, he, now nah, he can, he'll come the next day <laughs> and <laughs> he'll come on my good day. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and it's similar barbecue, whatever we're eating, we're hanging out We're you know, the kids maybe swimming it's summer. And, uh, then three o'clock, bunch of friends come over. My family still stays there, but then it becomes like an actual barbecue party. Yeah. We got the bouncy castle over there. So the kids are lo losing their mind. They're swimming. They're having a good time. Beers, uh, claws, all that stuff. I also don't have a drinking problem in this fantasy. So I am <laughs> rip roaring, having a good time, maybe even a bump of Coke to have some fun. And uh, <laughs> I'm just enjoy. And, and the heat doesn't overwhelm me no matter what. It doesn't burn me. It doesn't make me feel like it's like a Ruba weather. Yeah. It's just perfect, 78, like, windy or, or breezy, feeling great. No naps during the day. No like, naps. I don't have to nap at all. I'm not tired. Yeah. And, and I, same thing, and I'm going to, I, I want to put a little cap on yours. Okay. I've, I'm ecstasy. only up to 4 p.m. Everyone takes <laughs> ecstasy Dude, well around then, 7 o'clock, and we lose our fucking mind. This is what I was going to say. At 5 o'clock. The kids get whisked away by a paid for team of nannies that uh, <laughs> that will feed them dinner, bathe them, put them down, all that stuff. Then we break out the hardcore narcotics. <laughs> um, and yeah, the bowl, the sugar bowl of cocaine comes out. The baggie of crystallized MDMA comes oh, yeah. out. Maybe a couple strips of acid uh, as as gifted to us from Tim Butterly himself. <laughs> and then, you know, some blunts that don't hurt my chest, all that stuff. It's I. It, that and then that with the fire goes into the evening mm -hmm. until about like 3 a.m. Which again, this is like prime cocaine fun time in the evening where you do like maybe one more line as Nicole is like, All right, boys, I'm gonna go to bed. And I'm like, All right, I'll wake you up with a soft dick later. Ugh. And we do cocaine while watching Varsity Blues <laughs> until 5 a.m. <laughs> and then at 5 a.m., I go back to bed and I try to noodle dick my wife until she tells me to cut it out. Those last five hours sound like the worst day of I'm, all time. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> Once you put that movie on and you're like, guys, let's watch. I go, actually, my, my, my Uber's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're not invited. <laughs> it's a very VIP, VIP thing. <laughs> anyway. Bye, everybody. Bye. See Thanks you for watching. Bye. Here's the scenario is Mike Feeney, Mike Cannon, and Brendan Sagalow. Executive producers Robert Kelly and Matt Kleinschmidt for the Laugh Button Podcast. For more information about the show, visit Here's the Scenario.com. 
disappear you